कैल्ट मधुरा डोंगरे द लेटेस्ट सक्सेस स्टोरी इन द लॉन्ग लिस्ट ऑफ 300 प्लस ऑफिसर्स नर्चर्ड एंड प्रोड्यूस बाय माय टीम इन माय डिफेंस एजुकेशन करियर स्पैनिंग क्लोज टू टू डिकेट्स शी वॉज एडजस्ट एज अ कैल्ट ऑफ द इयर फॉर टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिव इयर्स एट इंस्टीट्यूट मधुरा इज द फर्स्ट फीमेल कैंडिडेट टू बी सेलेक्टेड फॉर एन डी ए इन एयरफोर्स विंग फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र इन इयर ट्वेंटी it has all started when i left the uh, defense forces i really came out of the indian army in 2005 completed my services and uh, uh, when i joined as a jilla sainik welfare officer at the uh, government of maharashtra in 2005 uh, my job profile was basically to uh, look after the uh, resettlement of the servicemen who got retired from the forces look after the veer naris and uh, veer pita veer mata for their uh, compliances and all that pensions particularly but the biggest uh, role and responsibility of a jilla senior welfare officer that is zsw or jilla senior secretary was to uh, 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 promote and uh, motivate the youngsters those who wants to make a career into the uh, indian armed forces and the army navy air force so basically uh, for the uh, recruitments also and for the commissioning in the defense forces also through uh, national defense academy exams or cdsc graduation based so uh, when i joined there in 2005 i took it seriously regarding the recruitment of the youngsters because being from baratwada and being from the jalna was my actual uh, posting but i had uh, almost uh, all five districts except aurangabad i had uh, all remaining districts of marathwada under me as additional charge so i kept on roaming all around the places i conducted in my five years tenure i conducted five recruitment rallies for the indian army and uh, that is where i got uh, interested into it i used to go to the schools uh, any school any marathi semi english english school cbsc state but who sir used to call me to come for the uh, briefing and interacting with the kids youngsters to tell them about the defense career i used to go there and uh, i i realized that uh, it's a very interesting job to do and that if somebody is getting uh, service or the chance to work in the defense forces nothing like it so uh, that is where uh, i worked a lot on that and uh, i had a recruitment rallies and uh, almost 2 to 3000 people or youngsters got into the uh, defense services uh, through that recruitment and then in uh, 2008 i got the chance to look after the or uh, being ad- additional director or not additional director but uh, uh, additional charge of a uh, spi as a director and uh, for two months in 2008 that time i realized that uh, i'm uh, uh, really learning something new so that is where uh, i came to know ki, okay this is this kind of institute is there which really prepares the maharashtrian boys uh, for the uh, upsc's nd entrance exam plus ssb so uh, in 2008 that had happened and uh, i started uh, working on that uh, again in 2010 i got a complete uh, responsibility of uh, spi that is services preparatory institute aurangabad which is the only nodal institute of the indian armed forces uh, government of maharashtra uh, which prepares the boys for the uh, national defense academy so from 2010 to 2014 i worked there i brought in lot of changes i uh, i brought i brought in um, uh, new systems i tried to shift them to the cbsc also then again to state board also then i uh, uh, tried to build up a team for ssb preparation in house that is what and i i started liking it not only liking i started loving it 
to groom the youngsters. There was a record in 2012 of SPI when there was a batch of 44 boys and um, 39 boys cleared the written test in 2012, I, I believe. So uh, then it got a like a ignition and stimulus for me to start working in this field. And uh, then I went to the Bhosla Military School from 2015 to 2017. And then uh, I realized that there is a quite a vacuum per se. If you see that SPI mein nahi hua to aur kahan jayenge. That kind of a situation was there that time. Parent used to come and ask me, hey, sir, aapke paas to hua nahi abhi ham kahan pe admission le, kahan pe tayari kare. So that time I used to be not able to recommend any other institute because as such there was very few or very uh, you can count them on a fingertips kind of a one order was there. So I realized that we must have a one uh, uh, own setup of the institute where we can groom the boys. So that is how the own institute's idea came up and uh, I ventured into create starting your own uh, my own uh, institute uh, that is Major Kulthe Defense Education Institute. We started it in the campus of the Mahatma Gandhi Missions uh, campus in Padegao, and uh, we are we are we are applying all the experience, whatever experience I have, whatever I have learned with my past experience when I was the ZSW, when I was the director SPI, when I was the director uh, commandant Bhosna Military School. So that everything, best of every places, I brought in. And I'm happy to announce that uh, we have, um, uh, I got an opportunity or I'm lucky enough to mentor, guide and groom more than 300 odd officers through different entry schemes, whether it is a National Defense Academy, whether it is a, a CDSC or um, um, that is IMA and all that, plus uh, technical entries for the engineering graduates also is there. Some of the boys have joined after 10 plus 2 technical entry in the Indian Army's engineering college. Okay, when we realized that uh, there is a need of this kind of an institute to groom the boys, uh, I thought I must start an institute where we can have this all contents or I can utilize my experiences. And that is where uh, we, uh, because there are certain qualities which has to be imbibed, which has to be like we call it as a uh, leadership qualities, which can be only imbibed uh, through putting them to, through in activity uh, or a daily routine has to be set in for that. And unless until you don't have those qualities, it's very difficult to get selected into the Indian Armed Forces because there is a one more stage after the written test called as a service selection board interview. So along with the academics, we have to ensure that their overall grooming has to be done. So uh, plan to start an institute where we can have a daily routine in a such a way that naturally the boy will not be trained but will be groomed to become a uh, suitable candidate to be uh, taken into the National Defense Academy. So that is how we uh, come up with this idea and we started the Major Kulthe Defense Education Institute to prepare the boys during their 11th and 12th in Indian for the UPSC's ENDA return test and further selection into the SSB. Selection for the National Defense Academy requires certain errant qualities in the students. So in that case, we have to have our own admission process where we can search, we can find out the feasibility and suitability of the student, whether he can be groomed towards the preparation of National Defense Academy. So we conduct our own admission process in which we conduct return as well as interview and there is a grand joining ceremony when the cadet comes into the institute. We have, uh, then we can see the transformation once he join here and stay with us for two years. It is said that healthy bodies carries the healthy mind. And to, to be a healthy mind towards the return plus preparation towards the SSB, the cadet has to be physically fit. So we have a PT every day morning physical training in which we conduct the uh, mass PT drill, then individual obstacle course towards the SSB preparation also and meditation and yoga together. In a uh, daily routine, the most important routine is to offer them wholesome food. 
being a residential institute and the cadets are working uh, throughout the day and preparing for a national level competition we have to provide them a healthy and balanced diet which is provided in, uh, in a breakfast lunch and a dinner uh, in a very uh, neat and clean way and uh, which is an integral part of the training also as i said before that there is a uh, certain qualities in personality required if you want to join the defense forces generally it is called as officer like qualities or a leadership qualities but uh, you can't just overnight develop that qualities the boy or the girl or the candidate has to groom it or put into the routine practice or a daily activity which can groom him over a period of 2 years towards imbibing those qualities in his personality and that daily routine has to be planned accordingly that's why there is a very much importance of a daily routine in the academies or institutes like this if we talk about the selection for the national defense academy there are two stages first is basically written test conducted by union public service commission called as upsc nda na written exam and for that you have to be academically very strong required uh, good faculties good uh, learning atmosphere and smart classes too thank you very much along with the academics boys has to prepare for the uh, outdoor activities like uh, team sports where we give them the chance for the basketball handball football and foot, uh, volleyball where they they develop the uh, team spirit competitiveness sportsmanship fair play attitude and physical fitness on the top of it that's why we have a, a very good uh, opportunity to have the team games where we generally go for the general championship also where in the boys compete with each other for the general championship and the uh, mkda flag where in they compete in various activities and the the company which gathers the maximum points is awarded as the champion company gets an opportunity to represent majority of the places create the togetherness cohesiveness cooperation and conducive atmosphere as a team work as a team play has to be a residential institute so created a residential facilities which will give ample chances to work together live together and serve together for the nation building for building up the habit or the acumen for the naam namak aur nishan jaise hum fauj mein bolte hain ki jab naam namak nishan ke liye mar mitne ka jab hausla paida hota hai ichha par nirman hoti hai तो अपने आप कमिटमेंट आ जाता है कमिटमेंट के साथ ही साथ एफर्ट्स 100 परसेंट लगना शुरू हो जाता है तो हम इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द कैडेट्स इन टू फोर डिफरेंट कंपनीज लाइक हिया थाइलैंड्स ब्लेजर्स चार्ली द कॉन्करर्स डेल्टा द डायनामाइट्स उनका अपना अपना एक अपना बैरक्स है अपना फ्लैग है अपना नाम है निशान है उनका अपना वॉर क्रा है उनका अपना सॉन्ग है उनकी अपनी टैग लाइन है दे कॉम्पीट ही चौदह for general championship which simultaneously groom them subsequently groom them towards the character building towards the camaraderie towards the belongingness and sportsmanship everything in this we give the appointments also to the cadets like there are cadet captain vice cadet captain junior cadet captain and company commanders company to ics and lot many committees like education committees there who suggest time to time suggest regarding the academic growth or academic requirements sports committee mess committee even the laundry committee library committees are also there so for the smooth functioning smooth administration of the organization in the selection towards the national defense academy the second stage of selection after clearing the written is service selection board interview wherein the psychology of the candidate is uh, assessed whether he is trainable or not for that you have to have a daily routine wherein you can put in efforts to groom him so we have uh, in house resources like uh, interviewing officers or the trainers or gtos psychologists and all that we take care of their preparation towards ssb also as i say, keep on saying always it is a team work it is like a three tripod on one side the parents are there another side the student is there and third side the institute itself if all these three team three three legs of the tripod is not working in tandem not work together have a faith in each other the the task which is of a national level cannot be achieved that's why 
it's a uh, outcome of the good camaraderie good teamwork between parents students and the institute and the execution by the team of mkdi has bear the fruit with good number of cadets passing the nda return test uh, with flying colors including girls